the Miami Hurricanes, four and one. Many people think they should be in the top 20. They lost their opening game to Florida. They have won their last four. The head coach is Jimmy Johnson. His second year, his record is 12 and six. Head coach five years at Oklahoma State. He has never beaten the Oklahoma Sooners. He thinks he's got a chance today. It is the home opener for the Oklahoma Sooners. They are three and zero, ranked second in the nation. Didn't start their season until September 28. They have defeated Minnesota, Kansas State, and Texas. The coach is Barry Switzer, his 13th season, 118, 23, and 4. The best winning percentage among 1A coaches with five years or more at their job. J.C. Penny deep to receive it, number 21. Todd Thompson will kick it off. He is flanked by Warren Williams, number 24, who is one of the real speedsters on this Miami club. So it's the big question early on as to whether or not Oklahoma's defense can pressure Miami. And here's the kickoff, and that's knocked out of the county. There will be no return of that one. And the Miami offense comes out with Vinny Testaverde, a New Yorker, big fella in there at quarterback. He's a good one, but he's been dinged with 13 interceptions. Warren Williams, very quick running back. Alonzo Highsmith is a power man, a 230-pounder. Brian Blades is a speedster at split in, and the flanker is Michael Urban. He's got both tools honed and ready, and here's your first snap, and he's going to throw on first down. Dumps it off, and the pass is dropped. Just flat dropped by Willie Smith. Willie Smith is called by his coaches, one of the outstanding tight ends they've ever seen, but he just flat dropped that one. Paul Berticelli is a 255-pound tackle. Dave Alekna is a 240-pound guard. Greg Ricosi at center, 265. Paul O'Connor at guard, 265. And Ed Davis at tackle, 260 pounds. And it's a relatively young football team on both sides of the ball for Miami and, for that matter, uh, for Oklahoma. Both relatively young teams. On second down and 10, they go to the run and bounce Highsmith outside. He gets it up across the 25. To the and the four rush men, the down men up front, in a sense, are Daryl Reed, Richard Reed, Curtis Williams, and Steve Bryan. Casillas is not there because he's hurt and probably going to be out a month. Kevin Murphy is an All-American, that defensive end. The backers you saw, and there is the secondary for Oklahoma, and they're playing up very, very tight now on third down and three. Tester Verde wants to throw, gets it deep downfield. He's got a man, but the pass is just a little bit too long to Brian Blade. Shepard averaging just under 10 yards per return. The kick is in the air, and it's a good one. Good hang time forces Shepard into a fair catch around the 30-yard line of Oklahoma. And the Sooners send out Troy Aikman. Aikman's pretty good size, 6'3", 215 at quarterback. Leon Perry at left half. Perry's 220-pound freshman. Patrick Collins is a 185-pound sophomore. And the fullback is Lydell Carr, a 215-pound sophomore. So they're young in the backfield. Wide receiver is Derek Shepard, 185 pounds, 5'11". So here comes the Oklahoma wishbone from the 30. Aikman hands the ball off to Perry. And nothing fancy about it. He just popped it and picked up three. Tight end is Keith Jackson, the big sophomore out of Little Rock, 240. Mark Hudson, a tackle at 280. Eric Pope at guard, 265. Travis Simpson at center, 265. The right guard is Anthony Phillips, 275. Redshirt freshman. Greg Johnson is a 3 Oh, uh, like some of the Arkansas players, they have to take him down to the cotton mill to weigh him. <laughs> oh, Second geez. down and seven. The ball is handed off inside. The gain is up to the 28 by Lydell Carr, the fullback. Brown is a 265-pound tackle on the front, along with Dan Stubbs, Derwin Jones, and John McVay. The backers are Fleming and George Myra, Jr. Yep, that's George's son, Winston Moss. And the secondary of Ellis Fullington, a surprise daughter today. Selman Brown and Denny Blades, the brother of uh, Bernie. Damon Stell is into the lineup now for Oklahoma. He's number 27. Ball is handed to the up man for the first down, Lydell Carr, the first man. It's first down Sooners just over their own 31. First man is Carr. He gets the ball. And of about six yards on the carry. Second down and four. And they stay inside with Carr. And he's close to midfield at the 49. Five and four. 
just the style of a wishbone offense. Third down and two for the Sooners. Still going with Carr. This time, Miami's reaction to him is quicker. And you see his average. It's a good one. Kintai, Dave Kintai, waits underneath the high-hanging point back at the 12-yard line. He'll try it. And, uh, but they go from the nine. Testaverde has Williams and Highsmith behind him. And they get tangled up in the backfield, but Williams, with his quick feet, makes something out of it anyway. Picks up about five yards. And Testaverde is back to throw and has good protection. Throws underneath to the 20-yard line to Warren Williams. First down, just over the 20 for Miami. No score, first quarter from Newman, Oklahoma. That's Warren Williams to the 23. Second down and call it seven and Testaverde back to throw. He had Smith down the middle and Smith is knocked down by an Oklahoma defender. Testaverde finally dumps it. Ball is caught by Williams. And he's got a first down up around the 44-yard line. And they're off the hook. And Testaverde now with some daylight goes big with it. Down the sidelines for Irvin. He's got the ball. He's on his way. Touchdown, Miami. He burned Derek White. 61 in a row. Make it 62. Now, where is the safety man? Where is the safety man? Nowhere to be found. Result in a touchdown. Raymond, 35, was late getting there. 8.44 to go, first quarter. And Mark Selig now will kick off for the Hurricanes, who lead 7 to nothing. It is going to Mitchell at the 5. And he gets belted at the 21. And uh, the penalty is called against the Oklahoma Sooners. Little fake to the fullback, give it to Collins. And Collins is out around the 15 before he is brought down. Tennessee wins one. How about Tony Robinson? We'll check with Jim on that a little while later. But right now, here comes Leon Perry to the outside. And he picks up a first down. For From the 26, Sooners first down. One man wide, top of the picture. That would be Derek Shepard. Aikman turns and goes down the line with it. Pitches it late to Collins. Gets a block on the corner. Turns the corner and picks up about six, seven yards. On the season, he's explosive. Had a big run against Texas last week. Aikman back to throw on first down. Goes for the bundle. And it is caught by Keith Jackson. And Jackson is out of bounds inside the 20 at the 16-yard line. Keith, well, he is done for catching passes at a tight end position. This goes to Collins, hole over the left side. Picks up three as he is brought down. Second down and seven from the Miami 14. Pass to the corner, good. Cut down, Oklahoma. Six minutes and 34 seconds to go. And Isolates the halfback. The quarterback lays it right out there perfectly. To Shepard on the goal line. He steps over. And with 6.34 left, we'll be back. They're not going to run that one back either. Estiverdi and company now from the 21st down. Ball is given away to Highsmith. Alonzo Highsmith will have one yard. That's all. Second down and nine. Ski. <laughs> <laughs> it's Alonzo Highsmith to the outside. Big man puts his shoulder down and, and it is third down and two now for Miami. Highsmith sweeping. Sonny Brown. Strong safety out of Alice, Texas. Go offense. One, two, three, kick. And the punt is away. Jeff Fiegel's kick is caught at the uh, story of the Alabama-Tennessee game that Jim Lampley gave you a few minutes ago. Reverse key. Goes to Collins. Two men in front of him. But there's a flag down, Keith. Big play for Oklahoma, but there's a flag waiting. Chasing the ball carry immediately. 
that they had planned to throw back and run. They back up now on first down and 20 to the inside the 35 as Aikman drops to throw and shoots it down the middle where Keith Jackson, the tight end, is wide open. And he's got a first down. Well, second down and two from the Miami 47. Aikman still got it and turns up field for the first down. Gets a block out in front of him and he's hit the chalk. He's out of bounds at the 21. He's out of bounds at the 21. A little late developing on the play. Perry trying to cut it back inside. Get it to Nebraska last year. Second down and seven for Oklahoma. The ball is inside the Miami 19. Aikman down the line with it. Pitches back to Perry. Perry's got a crowd. But he's, as Frank said, big and strong. And he makes something out of it. The third down and four and a half. Oh, that won't work. The Miami people were all over. Now, 36 yards. Tim Lasher. One out of one between 30 and 40. Block. Ball slammed back. Rolling way back upfield where Miami covers it. Blocked by Jerome Brown. For Miami as the ball comes back near the Oklahoma 45 where the Hurricanes have it first down. And Highsmith can't get loose inside. You don't lose a lot with Dante Jones in there. Back goes Pescaverde to throw. Has some time. Has some open field. Gets it away. Pass is good to Urban, who has a touchdown already, and he's still working at it. And finally down around the 26-25 yard line. It's a 7-7 ball game with 35 seconds to go in the first quarter. Mel Bratton is in for the first time today. Pescaverde rolls it out. Drops one off inside to Highsmith. And Highsmith running hard after making the catch. And it's first down Miami at the Oklahoma 13. Ball is handed off to Bratton. Mel Bratton, big barrel chested tough runner. And the first quarter is over. So after the first 15 minutes, we've got what we thought we would have. A good one. 7-7 tie. With that third tight end in a blocking back position. But go the other way with Bratton and he won't get his first down. He's going to be a step short of it. They go to, oh, they keep it. The quarterback, Testa Verde, touchdown. Jimmy. Quarterback bootleg. Surprised by Timmy Johnson. He plays that, he played that way, and he coaches that way. Greg Cox for the extra point, and he's got 63 in a row at 14-16 to go in the first half. The Miami Hurricanes have come back to reassume the lead, 14-7 over the Sooners. Selig hits it. Wins going left to right, and that one carries beyond the field of play. Jimmy Johnson. Don Maloney is in there at the halfback spot with Collins and Carr, the fullback, with Aikman, the quarterback. Aikman keeping it, going down the line with it. Pitches it outside wide to Maloney, and he's taken out of there pretty quickly. And now they break the ball. Go double wide. Aikman back to throw it. Jackson's underneath, and he has the ball, and he has a first down up at the 34. And the Sooners have a first down near the 34 of Miami. Aikman straight back this time, just dumps this one to Maloney. And Maloney running hard with some blocking help. Spins close to a first down. Keith, how, how long has it been since Oklahoma passed for more than they've run? Many years. <laughs> long time, yeah. That ball is given to Lydell Carr, the fullback, and he's got seven yards. Maloney's out now, and Damon Stell comes back in. Stell is 27. Carr for the first down. Ball comes bouncing loose, and Oklahoma recovers it. I thought they might have called him down, but and it's first down for the Sooners at the Miami 44. Miami's changed their defense. They've got everybody up on the line now. And Aikman pitches wide. It goes to Stafford, Anthony Stafford, in the lineup for the first time. Second down and seven. He picked up three. Aikman going down the line with it. He sinks that ball in that uh, fullback's uh, pocket, and you can't find it. Keith. Aikman to throw. Has a man. Wide open. Shepard. And Derek Shepard, who scored Oklahoma's touchdown, picks up a first down for them. Well, it's two outstanding defenses that are getting ripped apart here in this first half. Aikman.
turns to the crossing back this time. Pat, uh, it's uh, Don Maloney again. Second down and ten. Stell is back in. Maloney out. Aikman to throw. To the corner. It is knocked away on a fine, fine defensive play by third down and ten. Aikman to throw again, and Jerome Brown's after him, and he's got it. He's a stud, that Brown, number 98. When Oklahoma comes back with the ball, they'll go with a freshman from Jamil. California. Jameel Holloway Jamil. now has come in to try the field goal from the 46-yard line. It's a little outside of Tim Lasher's range, but Thompson has plenty of leg, and he missed it. He hooked the ball and couldn't draw it back into the upright. He's done a good job in West Virginia. Miami North. takes over the ball at the 29. First down, and Testaverde on a deep drop goes to the sidelines. The pass is caught by Willie Smith. But right now, it is his left ankle. They don't realize how serious it is yet. Second down and eight. Zipped up field, complete to Smith. Smith's got a first down out of the I formation this time. And the ball goes to Mel Breton. Big back. Crosses midfield and goes to the Oklahoma 49. Even old <laughs> Oklahoma expression, quick as a hiccup. On second and short, long pass downfield. Testaverde to Willie Smith and the Miami Hurricanes are cooking. Seven minutes and 22 seconds to play in the second quarter. Testaverde is eight out of 10, 146 yards. He's hit eight in a row. Pitches the ball back to Bratton. And Oklahoma's defense flows with him this time and handles him pretty well. <laughs> Testaverde dumps it in a hurry to Bratton. Bratton is gang tackled at the 23. Three wides now. Leaving Bratton alone. And on third and three, Testaverde has a lot of protection. He elects to go to the end zone and overthrows the real estate. Possibly kicking with the wind. He's two out of two from this distance. Almost blocked, but he gets it away. And he missed it to the left. But they came away empty with it. Oklahoma takes over. First down from their own 23. And here's Holloway in the ball game. Jameel Holloway throwing to Shepard. And it's a first down for Oklahoma at the 42-yard line. So they for Chris Surigamo. And it's first down for the Sooners. Holloway turns, gives the ball to the fullback. Carr, Carr goes to the 46-yard line. Second down and seven. Pitches the ball well. It goes outside to Stafford. Anthony Stafford goes for a first down. Boy, they got speed on the corners. And you ought to see this fella sitting next to me uh, fussing. Well, this time the Miami defensive people handle it, don't they, George? He's checking off. The brassy young fellow is. There goes the fullback. And Lionel Carr galloping down. The first down Sooners, 36 of Miami. No, nope, Carr's out. Anderson is in there at fullback. Give the ball to Patrick Collins. And he is another busy sort of a runner. It's second down and a long three. And the fullback, uh, Rodney Anderson, carries a 205-pounder. Here's the blitz. They take it inside, and Miami stops Patrick Collins. They give him a three minutes to go in the first half. 14-7 Miami. Two split ends. That's unusual. I think that ball came loose and was rolling around, and Miami has stopped the play. Oliver is in the backfield now, number 37 for Miami, as Testaverde takes a deep drop to set up a screen pass for Bratton. Spins away from the open field man and gets it up across the 30. Mm, be hard to get back earlier than four weeks. Second down, call it seven for Miami after that effort by Bratton. And here comes Oliver. Third down and about seven. They are getting in time. And he goes underneath. That he, he picked Oliver, but no. Okay. No, this this level. Nixon back for the Sooners. Slips down at the 30. Troy Aikman, who has a broken left ankle. And Holloway dancing around. If he'd gone left, he'd have had a lot of daylight. Instead, he went back to the right side. Long march from here to there. Second down, call it a five-yard pickup for Holloway. Rolls back to throw and gets his pass off. He has a man, and it is 
He's late getting there, and it is almost intercepted by Benny Blade. It is third down and five now for the Sooners, and Holloway throw it again. Gets pressure from the backside, gets away from it, passes away, incomplete. Low kick by Winchester. Kintai takes it, splits the defenders, and comes back to the 40-yard line. The like you say, Jimmy Johnson, whoops, almost had a man jump, but he got back, and he is going to load it up. Now he throws it away, and uh, that could be flagged. Houston was the man getting there as you flag. They're going to call him for dumping the ball. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, ball comes all the way back to the 24-yard line, and he wants to throw it again. And he runs out of the pocket. Now he throws it up the field of Blades, and... Uh, Third down and about 25, and they run this one, sending Darrell Oliver out into the open, and Oliver runs the ball up to the 35-yard line. The clock is ticking away, and time will run out now, and the first half is history. With the Hurricanes of Miami leading the Sooners of Oklahoma at halftime by a score of 14-7. to It's the most important of the second half. The kick is in the air. And this will be returned from the goal line by Patrick Collins. And Collins gives them good field position up close to the 25-yard line. Carr, Perry, and Stell open behind him. And this is Stell with the ball and uh, caught well back of the line of scrimmage. The second down and close to 20 as Holloway sets up the throw, goes deep down the middle for Shepard. He's got it. And a first down at the Miami 39-yard line. A and a penalty. penalty flag waiting back upfield. Keep it on the numbers. Oklahoma is holding. Ball is at the eight-yard line, second down. They've got to go near the 35 to get a first down, and that'll be good up to about the 16. As ball at the 15, they need 20. That goes Holloway again. And he's out to the 30. Winchester got that one. Kintai all the way back to the 20. Penalty flag is thrown back around where the kicker and I think Bubba McDowell may have been the man that came in and nailed the kicker I would expect a lot of stunts to confuse Holloway hands the ball to his fullback car and Lydell Carr picks up a good five yards flip it outside this is Stafford and Anthony Stafford Reverse. Reversing. Going to throw it. This is Derek Shepard. Passes away. Intercepted. The pass is picked off by Benny Blades, who came from his free safety position and cut in front of Keith Jackson. Going to throw it. And he nails Willie Smith up at the 45-yard line in front of Ricky Dixon. And Bosworth has been quiet today. He had 14 tackles against Texas. Little draw play this time with Highsmith carrying. And on second down and a long six. That's the 30 back. Again, he's scrambling and he's got some room and he's got a first down as he tiptoes out of bounds. There it is. First down near the Oklahoma 42 now. Hurricanes are leading 14 to 7 and they've got something cooking to start the second half. Ball is handed off to Warren Williams. And he's to the Oklahoma 35. That shouldn't bother the Hurricanes. They're making a lot of waves. Penalty flag flies as Highsmith dives for sufficient yardage. Second down and 13. For, yep, 13. Dumps it off, throws the ball behind Highsmith, and a penalty flag is thrown here. Against the defensive end, a linebacker blitzing Jones, I guess. On second down and 23, the pass is nailed to Brian Blades. Go to a power set. Give it a high Smith. And Alonzo has the first down. That's the birdie back. Zips it to the sidelines. It's good to Willie Smith. The pickup of seven on the play. Second down, three. High Smith finds a hole on the corner. 
and finally loses his balance and hits. The, and if they do, they will overcome two holding penalties. Ball is handed off to Highsmith, and he gets down inside the three. Testaverde flips the ball out. Highsmith drops it. This time he'll just drop and zip one, and it's incomplete. Oh, Keith, he missed. Highsmith was wide open. <laughs> just like an extra point, Keith. Kenzai fumbled the snap, but he still knocks it through, and there's a flag. I think somebody came in and, and uh, whacked. Take another look at the play. 35. Ball's fumbled, and yeah. here comes Rayburn. Rayburn comes in, and then he charges into the kicker with his headgear, hits him right in the face. 15 yards. 17 to 7 with 8.49 to go third quarter. Watch them stop Nebraska and other teams from the one-yard line. Maybe it's a good call. The penalty is assessed, however, in this instance, 15 yards. Dead ball foul, they right. didn't have an option. Yes. Lydell Carr isn't going anywhere. Mississippi and the rest of the country west of the Mississippi sees Nebraska and Colorado. Jim Mel Holloway caught behind the line of scrimmage. He's still fighting, but he's going to lose a chunk. Physically rushing Looks in. like they're going after Winchester, too. Oh, they almost got it. And they force a short kick out of it as Kintai comes up and takes it. And he's a bit of a daredevil as... But Miami, after a 30-yard punt, has it at the Oklahoma 38, where they put it. And Testaverde hands it off to Bratton. And Mel Bratton picks up about three yards. Second down and seven, Miami at the Oklahoma 35. Testaverde throwing on second down. Goes outside to Blade. And Brian Blades, 5.55 to go in the third quarter. Testaverde throws on first down. I'll rephrase that. He was trying to throw <laughs> on first down. And fall. Testaverde on a deep drop now on second down at about 15. And he finally runs out of real estate, and the Miami receivers, it's now third down and 18. Back on the 35, and they're going after him again. This time the protection is better. Blades is in the corner. He's got it. Touchdown. Yeah, he threaded a needle. When I tell you he threaded a needle, they won two feet of open space to throw the ball. He's never missed. This time the snap and the hold are both good, and the kick is true. And at 4.06 to play in the third quarter, it is now 24-7 Miami. Now, quarterback Troy Aikman to a broken ankle. And the kickoff into the end zone. It will be returned from the goal line by Patrick Collins. Collins stops, now tries to go around. He's got the speed, and he gets around the first man. But Georgia was tied today by Vanderbilt, 13-13. Here comes Holloway, Jamil Holloway, the freshman quarterback, two yards. Oh, bad pitch. Fumble, recovery by Emmy on the football is John McVay. As Holloway was hit just as he pitched the ball out, have not faced the team, Keith, as we said earlier, they can run and throw like Miami. Bratton from the 22 to the 19. Second down and seven, Testaverde, Irving, the ball is tipped. At the line of scrimmage, oh, it's third and seven from the 19 of Oklahoma. Blitz on, they pick it up, Testaverde shoots it, intended for Smith. And the ball is knocked away. 36-yard field goal try by Greg Cox. And he got it. And it's 27 to 7 now. With two minutes and 34 seconds to play in the third quarter. Miami has control. The young freshman quarterback playing for the injured Aikman. Some real problems. That's Collins drifting under it, a yard deep in the end zone. Patrick looking for a crack, and he almost found one. He was the manager in Atlanta when I was growing up. Holloway, a little indecisive now as Miami is putting the pressure on him. It's rough times these days for highly ranked teams. This is Patrick Collins trying to get around the corner. 
And number 32, Selwyn Brown, was almost taken out of the play in the game. Could be by, forced by the defense. Carr, Ladell Carr, going for the first down. He didn't get a whole lot. Holloway rides it off to Ladell Carr, the fullback. And Ladell Carr lays a lick on Benny Blades. BYU plays tonight. They take it back inside. They're working Carr hard. Oklahoma's picked up 314 yards on 16 first downs, but they've scored only seven points. And Oklahoma is content to let the third quarter run out. So we'll be back quarter for the Sooners. At the Miami 47-yard line, Jamil Holloway keeping the ball and gets the first down at the 36 of Miami. On first down, Holloway gives the ball to Lydell Carr. Lydell and Carr, Carr picks up about five. Holloway keeping the ball again, turns it upfield, and he's close to another first down. But right now, it is 26-yard line of uh, Miami now. First down, Oklahoma. And Holloway gets loose in the middle. And we'll get about four, close to five. It's away from it. Holloway now with 40 yards on the ground. Gives to Carr, the fullback. And on second down and six. Less than half the work of eight. Keeps it. Gets the first down. And, and miss, takes a missed tackle. Now they finally give it to another back. Damon Stell. And Stell from the 13 to about the eight. Maybe never. Holloway dancing around and gets to about the six. Give the ball to Stell again. And Miami leading 27 to 7. Quarterback Holloway keeps it. And he will have the first down. Has more than the run. On first and goal, the 20th first down to Oklahoma. The surge is right to the goal line, but it is just short. Now it is second down and goal. Well, well Keith and Messi, they unpile and he's across the goal line. He gives the ball to Lydell Carr and Carr touchdown. Official signal touchdown. Lasher's extra point is good. You've got 10 minutes and 28 seconds to play in the game. 27 to 13, 14, but Oklahoma required seven minutes plus for that touchdown. And Kintai are deep for Miami, and Thompson kicks it away. Well, that'll probably hinder somewhat. He just let that thing die down in the end zone. Leads Oklahoma. Testaverde on the snap from the 20 gives to Alonzo Highsmith, and Highsmith is dragged down for a two-yard loss. Here's the blitz. That's Oliver. Darrell Oliver gets to the 19. On third down, 11. And Testaverde to throw it. And zips it. And he hits Kintai on the money. And his second effort, the initial contact was short. Of End of all to Highsmith. And he's buried right at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Bosworth chose blitz, but the long count stopped him, but the Oklahoma defense, they're anticipating pass, obviously, on third and ten. Nichols defense. Four-man rush. Linebackers drop. Testaverde's pass away. Smith has it. And Smith is knocked down by Brian Bosworth, short of the first down. Inside is 20. Good punt. 18-yard line, Shepard. Just not enough help back there. He does return it. Reggie Jackson. Yeah, nothing there. Nothing. Second down and eight. Reverse. This is Patrick Collins. And Collins finally runs out of room up around the 31-yard. Third down and six. Here's Holloway, a little deeper drop this time. Gets it off to Shepard and throws it too high. It's about the same number having trouble this week. Kintai calls fair catch and then lets the ball roll. And it takes an Oklahoma bounce and it's going to roll for a while. 
It wasn't a very good punt by Winchester. But, and Miami will have it now and will try to eat up the clock. Oklahoma needs some luck. Testaverde keeps it on a bootleg. And sits down at the 21. Second and one. Williams has the first down as he gets to the 26. Both teams, three timeouts. The time is so precious now for the Oklahomans. And Mel Bratton is tripped up by number 93, Curtis Williams. Oklahoma has Iowa State next in conference play. Of course, they very much, even if they lose today, remain a part of the Big 8 chase. And the pass is dumped by Testaverde. He sort of threw a knuckleball at third down to about 11 for Miami. Down he goes. Fourth sack of the ball game. End over end. Shepard fields it, has two blocks. And Medef trotted off the field. Seems all right. First down as Holloway drops straight back. As all day goes down the middle with it. The ball is popping around and Jackson can't pull it in. Trailing by 13 points. Second and 10. Holloway up the middle. What a play, Keith. He gets to the 31-yard uh, line. The pass is thrown and dropped by Damon Stell. Stayed in the home area. Play his football. I thought the right decision for him. Holloway drops the football. Tried to pick it up, and an Oklahoma man fell on it. But it was fourth down as the ball was tipped away from Holloway. First down at their own 34. They will run it now, Chief. Warren Williams picks up three. Here's Tim. Miami just trying to kill the clock now. Oklahoma makes contact. They're offside. Get back. Called it against Oklahoma. It's second down and two for Miami. And they stay with the ground game, but it's a hard road to hold. If they're on your schedule for the future, look out. This is Williams, and he'll have the first down. And that will be both on the road. And then they finish with Colorado State and the final game. November. With the running attack that they have to at least. I don't want to see him. He's got to be walking on air. He'll be nine feet high. Sam's done a good job of raising money. Hired Jimmy Johnson. Chose Jimmy late in the season. Done a, Jimmy's done a great job. Of, they don't have it this year. The pitchers have got a hit. Second down and 13. And uh, this is Williams getting some work in the late going here. We didn't see a whole lot of Warren. Oklahoma has nothing to be ashamed of. Tremendous effort on their part. Miami set the tone for the ball game in the first quarter as Testaverde hooked up with Irvin for a 56-yard pass play. And from that point on, until the game was pretty much in hand, it was the forward pass that Miami used to pierce the armor of Oklahoma. And they win it by a final score of 27 to 14 on the road.